hi everyone gift of soul here back for another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is going to be what do you need to put your focus on at this time advice and whatever else spirit wants to reveal today is january 8th 2020 um and i'm just stating the date simple because i can record a video in real time and then post uh, try to upload it in real time and it will end up publishing the next day uh, could be my connection, my device, I don't know, combination of both, but I do try to provide you guys readings, they do take forever to upload, so just because I do not have a reading out, doesn't mean I haven't already done one and not trying to get it out to you guys, just take this a long uploading process on my end. Uh, so, uh, decks that are used will be listed in the description box, um, don't forget about the giveaway. The giveaway will be ending January 15th. I am going to still be taking entries until then. And about, like, I would say maybe about the 20th or so, I will actually announce the winners. But I will, the entries stop on the 15th. Okay. Um, anyway. So, let's get started. So, one, two, and three, if you have not yet had a chance to really meditate on what you want to pick, just uh, pause or rewind. So, those of you who I have done set or picked set one, um, let's see what spirit wants you to do, what spirit has in store for you, what they just want to tell you generally. So, we have... The integration card, I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of my humanity into a new dimension. Um, so I feel like this is more so about you isolating yourself from other people. doesn't matter who they are or where they come from. Um, you're not 100% a people person or at least maybe you don't um, socialize a lot. And I feel like that's what that's more so about. Um, it wants you to release whatever social anxieties that you have at least this is what i feel for you guys i'm intuitively picking this up and this is not necessarily what the card generally means but i'm giving psychic insight um the number on here is 44 so maybe you guys have been seeing um doubles um and triple numbers whether it's 44 444 um 404 or anything like with more than one four in it or just generally seeing those types of numbers. Um, but anyways, I feel like this is more so, again, about you guys taking time to get to know new different types of people. Um, and maybe even traveling. Maybe this is your time to maybe try to go somewhere or do something. Surrender to miracles. So this socializing is going to help you... Uh, have abundance and receive things that you think were not ever possible before um but it's all about you getting out there um integration is actually more so about coming together more than being pulled apart but i feel like it's a mix of both for you guys and it's not like not in the way that you think i'm saying but um yeah but it says be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen okay so our goddess card is Lakshmi. Lakshmi, bright future start worrying everything is going to be fine um yeah so just what it says don't get caught up too much in um, the problems that you are having, there is a need for you to kind of take a break from trying to figure certain things out, I feel, and just be in positive, um, positive mode, I guess, like more so, um, making peace with what is going on around you um as i always feel called to say whenever a card like this comes up is worry is a waste of emotion worrying doesn't change a thing so you just have to get out there and um 
this card reminds me of having fun and again back to the traveling this gives vacation vibes it looks like she's um on the beach in paradise or something so again go somewhere and do something do something that will make you um laugh again having fun um not taking things so seriously um, let's see. So we have Igniting Courage. I am strong, valiant, and courageous. And then we have Focus on Your Priorities. So I feel like you are overthinking about something that doesn't really even matter. Um, like something that's not necessarily in irrelevant, but something that literally is not as big as you're making it out to be. Um, yeah. So, and what you are focusing on, they, again, they're not really important things. They're not priorities. So you need to get those things out of your mind and focus on actually what is important and what needs, um, energy put into. So it says where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of devoted, even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So yeah, I don't do reversals unless the decks have reversals in them. Keep that in mind. So that did come up reverse if you want to read it that way. But so, um, soulmate. So, um, and also feel like this is about focusing on what a soulmate actually is versus what you feel like it is, because I feel like you have the wrong idea of this type of connection. Um, and it looks like maybe a relationship is one of your top priorities. Um, for some reason and that's good but at the same time it is kind of taking your mind off of what you really need to get done around you um but it does look like whoever you are dealing with right now somebody that is consistent in your life they do not have to be a romantic partner to be a soulmate by the way but somebody who has been consistent been a uh support system in your life um for years um or just again just consistently this person is your soulmate and this person is going to be in your life um, in some way. They always are going to be there, even spiritually. Um, you have 41 on here and I mentioned the number because on the integration card, you also have number 44. So uh, number four looks to be very important here for you guys. Uh, so Daniel, I am the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. So again, one of your top priorities is some type of relationship. doesn't have to be a marriage um, literally it could just be a close knit relationship. Um, and right now you are focusing on nurturing that maybe could be even a relationship with yourself. Um, but again, it's taking more focus than it needs to right now. But again, it is good that you are focusing on it, but don't let it overtake your other responsibilities. And what else is coming up? Thoughts create your reality. So pretty much what focus your priorities it has a message in here that kind of talks about that as well um so yeah basically what you think the law of attraction what you think is what you create um so if you're constantly saying things like oh my god i'm having such bad luck oh my god uh why is this happening to me i don't have any money i'm broke i don't have this i don't have that you're constantly manifesting those things that you are speaking so keep that in mind um and don't be discouraging to yourself as well but yeah so that is the end for those of you who have picked number one please like comment share and subscribe i really appreciate it to those of you who have picked set two this is all about what you need to place your focus on currently at this time and whatever other energy spirit wants to reveal and look into for you um decks that I am using will be listed in the description box and yeah let's get started so we have will of life I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them so this is about you harmonizing with the events that are happening in your life and accepting them I feel 
Uh, the number is 42, by the way. Uh, but it's all about being... Um, trusting in certain cycles and this is not to say like a toxic type of cycle this is about synchronicities and maybe different numbers that are showing up or maybe something that is happening in your life and it's happening in this weird order it's supposed to be happening like that it's going to get you to where you are ultimately wanting to be with a certain situation um, or even things in your life. And Wheel of Life also reminds me of Wheel of Fortune. I feel like it talks about money, too. Um, talks about fate. Talks about destiny. Um, when I say reminds me of Wheel of Fortune, it reminds me of Wheel of Fortune in uh, Tarot. Um, yeah, so the synchronicities are happening because it's meant to happen that way. Um, and it's just about you accepting it and being more open-minded with the things that are happening around you. Uh, because it is a part of life and it is a part of your life's purpose and your life cycle. Um, surrender to creativity. Um, so this will of life is also going to help you be more creative and help you be more passionate towards things in your life that you really want to see success in. And it says, let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So like I said, be open. Um, let's see. Abundant need okay. Abundantia. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Prosperity. So again, I felt like money is involved. Uh, the universe is pouring in abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So basically, these are repeating messages um, to me. But all of this is coming to you when you think outside of the box and when you look around you and know that the things that are happening are happening. Because they're leading you to something. They're leading you to an idea. They're leading you to infinite abundance. And abundantia, what does that word say? It almost says abundance. And it does say abundant. And take off the IA, it says abundant. So that's coming to you. But you just got to trust that these things are happening for your greater good. So, men and bridges, I hear riffs, I am a mender. So... It looks like you are focused. I feel like, again, this is more money-driven for most of you, but it could be other things. I do feel like maybe you are trying to mend not just relationships and friendships and stuff like that, but just the relationship with your own self and also certain mistakes that you make or you think are mistakes that you have made. Maybe you are regretting and you're trying to do right and make things right with those things and with those people. And that's actually pretty great. So that's also going to bring you to what you are needing. Don't do it for the sole purpose of gaining something. But if you do it without motives, things will, you know, be, you know, be given to you. Things, prosperity will be entering into your life. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have pay yourself first. So again, when I said mending bridges, I also mentioned intuitively, I felt like you guys or mending bridges with yourself more than anything. And this is a, this is just validation of that. Pay yourself first. You are needing to focus on yourself more. Um, make yourself your most important, again, financial. So this is a deck right here that is more so financial and career guided. But there are other messages in between. There's not just only financial and career messages, by the way. So just saying that this is not a coincidence. Um... Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. So anytime you get paid, um, set aside a portion like it says. Get you a jar, get you a piggy bank, get you a bag or something, a bowl even, anything. Um, maybe like a ceramic dish or something. I have this thing in my apartment. It's a little decorative dish. You can put candies and things in it. And what I do is I put loose change in it. And it does add up over time. People think, oh, well, it's just change. It's just like pennies, quarters, nickels, all that. But I'm going to tell you something. It came in handy at some point. It all adds up. 
and make sure that if somebody is asking you for money, make sure that you are okay first before you give it to them. You can't take care of yourself if you're constantly helping somebody else with their money issues. Um, so yeah, and I'm having to learn this myself because I'm constantly pulling out of my pocket to help people. And most of the time I'm not able to take care of myself properly because I'm doing that. So you have to take care of yourself first. Uh, milk and honey number I can't it's not focusing it's number 51 um, milk and honey so I hope this is not making anybody hungry um, but yeah I do love this card because you don't expect to see a card with this you know type of message or with milk and honey written on it and i think it's great um so milk and honey you guys number 51 so the numbers on the cards can mean something by the way also i i pay more so attention to the images and sometimes the keywords too but mostly the images um but just trying to see exactly so 51 milk and honey um so this is most so again it is a prosperity message um it talks about nurturing it talks about abundance it talks about trusting that your needs will be met um Basically, while thing, things are bittersweet for you right now, they're not necessarily perfect, but they're not bad either. Um, and I feel like whatever is happening is leading you to a place of where you can be more secure. Um, but again, you have to let things happen the way that they are happening. Let the chips fall where they may, if you will. Um, And this is about being your authentic self. Um, you are a sweet person by nature, I feel. Like, it's not even something you intentionally do. You just do it because that's just your heart. Um, and milk and honey, obviously honey is very sweet. And I feel like you're trying to kind of be somebody you're not right now. Like, maybe um, to fit in or maybe, like, it's not in a bad way, but, like, you are forcing yourself to kind of be um like not necessarily a mean person but right now you are kind of um being less affectionate just because maybe other people are and you feel like well if this is getting other people somewhere maybe it's going to get me somewhere but um it's not it's not to say again to say yes to everyone milk and honey is like very sensual very passionate um and again it is very sweet it does say that you have gratitude it does talk about you being in alignment with your true self but this is just a reminder not to get out get too comfortable with an attitude that's not truly yours um and also this is also about you still coming getting what you want there is a sweet side to whatever is happening in your life right now even if it's bad you might not see it but it's definitely there so keep that in mind um let's see so ray and she says yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being peace of mind and spiritual growth right now um, so let me read that again. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So, you don't necessarily have to do yoga. You don't necessarily have to physically exercise, but do some type, even meditation is exercising. Do meditate a little bit more so you can focus on these things, your creativity, and have, you know, more things flowing into you that you could you know flow out to other people it's going to help you um any type of exercise even if you're just watching like 
something spiritual on TV or even on YouTube. Make it something that you do weekly or maybe even like give yourself a daily message once a day. I feel like some of you could actually really get into Oracle cards and just pull a card for yourself daily so you can have a mantra to go off of and, and that's going to help you in your creative process as well. Um, and then our last is focus on the positive. Let's see. Yep. Focus on the positive. Again, there are things in your situations that are very positive and that are mind opening, but guess what? You're choosing not to see it. Um, just because you feel like it's wishful thinking, oh, well, this can't be true. This is too good to be true, but it is true. Accept it. So that is for guy, for you guys that have picked set two. I wish you love and light, and I really appreciate you guys being here. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Hello, everyone. Gifted Soul here. This is for those of you that have picked set three, which is the final pile for this video. This is just a pick a card reading regarding... What you need to place your focus on at this time. Any other insight that spirit is wanting to give you from the universe. So let's just see. So here we have gratitude card number four. So what all these sets have in common. I think the second one might have didn't have that number in it. I'm not sure. But the first one definitely had fours coming across. So if it resonates with you that number do go and check uh, pile one. I do recommend one pile for these videos if there are multiple cards being used. Like more than when there's like a pile of decks being used, I would recommend only one. But um, yeah, but anyways, I'm grateful for everything or everyone and everything in my life and the lessons each bring. So knowing that this is about you knowing that whatever is in your life right now, whether good or bad, it is to teach you something. It you There is always something to take away from the things that you go through and you are able to apply certain methods and advice and things in your life from those mistakes. Um, or from, you know, those things that are holding you or, you know, keeping you from doing what you feel like you want to do and what you need to do. Um, this is also reminds me of the Earth Wisdom Oracle deck by Barbara Moore. This isn't her deck, but this kind of uh, reminds me of the theme of that deck. Um, just basically a very card that is nature, um, a very nature earthy type of card here with the green, um, Appreciating even the flowers, appreciating, you know, ladybugs and like different butterflies and what nature has to offer you. Surrender, like I said, flowers. There's a flower there. Surrender to, surrender low self-esteem. So, um, you deserve success, love and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release remnants of low self-esteem. So, um, I feel like also spending this time in nature will help you release any doubts that you have about yourself um, and make your self-esteem ultimately just a little bit higher. Um, low self-esteem is a very big setback in like endeavors, certain endeavors we want to achieve. Um, so it's definitely time to work on that. Some of you might already be working on that and it's working for you. If not, it is going to. You just have to give it time. Um, but definitely nature. Again, I said flowers before the seeding came up, so definitely pay attention to that flower that is in there. And then we have our goddess card is boundary. So from Ishtar, love yourself enough to say t no to others, demand demands on your time and energy. So pretty much, like it says, you need to set boundaries and, and know that no is a complete sentence. It's nothing wrong with saying no sometimes. It's nothing wrong with knowing your worth. And right now you don't know your worth. But I feel like once you start setting these boundaries, this clearly uh, sets up a pathway for other people to start valuing you and respecting you more. 
but it starts first with you respecting more and putting your foot down with people around you. So it doesn't matter who it is, by the way. If somebody is not treating you right or somebody's getting over on you, sometimes it is up to us to put a stop to it. Some people do not learn the error of their ways until they're told right from wrong. So, um, yeah. We have coming into power. Same thing. Basically, same thing here. I step into my power boldly and confidently. So, yeah, this is about coming into power. Again, you are afraid to say no to certain people. Um, you're constantly doubting yourself and constantly saying, I don't have enough power. I don't have enough strength to do this. I don't, you know, I can't do it. I have to do what people want me to do. And the truth is you simply do not have to. Um, so definitely work on putting your foot down. It looks like, again, some of you may already be working on this and it is going to benefit you. Um, definitely do not let people step over you. Um, this is about being, um, your own individual, not letting people keep you from speaking your truth, things like that. Um, and just again, helping yourself, um, to release these types of thoughts and um, helping yourself by creating boundaries. When you create boundaries, you are stepping into power. Um, and you do have more potential than you give yourself credit for also. So keep that in mind. And we have unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. So, um, yep. And again, I feel like you are going to be doing this through spending time in nature. Um, looks like she's outside too. She's meditating. There's a the moon. Um, it's giving her all sorts of ideas and um, it's awakening her intuition as well with this purple here. Um, purple is ultimately about your crown chakra. It is ultimately about um, intuitive messages. So keep that in mind as well. Um, also, I feel like you are needing to discern from what's real and what's not. I feel also um, there are different illusions around you that maybe kind of interfere with your day-to-day -day life. Uh, you also have observer 49. So again, to discern what's wrong or what's right, literally just said that. Uh, so here we have a number four in this set also. Um, I think number one had one. I don't remember if number two, but it looks like we have now at least two out of three sets that has this number four. Um, do check out set one for, um, to see what those messages say if you feel like this number is repeating for a reason. Um, but yeah, definitely take time to observe, to think logically about things, like I said, and get rid of, you know, what in your space that is not really serving you for a good purpose. And it's like some things that you are paying attention to, but you... Um, You are still not knowing what's actually here and what's not. But you, you've seen it. You have an idea, but, you know. Archangel Michael. So here's more purple, more signs that we need to, you guys need to get on the road to working with your intuition. And again, with all of these things, the boundaries, the self-esteem. I'm hanging out in a little bit of nature and appreciating everything around you. I am, it's not focusing. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So courage, self-esteem falls in the same thing. Archangel Michael is about stability and about security. So Archangel Michael is that angel that you want to call on to assist you in these matters. Um, whenever you're feeling like you are not at a steady pace or there's no progress in your life, this is the angel to call on. And so our last card is feel joy in all you do. So 
you need to not only become more passionate about yourself, but you need to become passionate about the things that you do. Um, if it doesn't give you joy, if it doesn't make you feel happy, if it makes you feel like crap, then maybe you shouldn't be doing it. That is the message here. Um, and make sure that these things are something that are not going to make you feel less than what you are truly capable of doing. Um, and again, setting boundaries is very important. <clears throat> so, um, that is it for those of you who have picked the final set, which is set three. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, giveaway has already been announced. Um, I will be announcing, I will be ending the giveaway entries on the 15th. So get your entries in, um, about like I might pick them on my birthday. I'm not sure yet, but, um, around the 20th through the rest of the month is when you can expect me to announce the winners of that giveaway. Um, yeah, so I wish you guys love and light, and I want to say welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. I do a mix of things, unboxings, um, of spiritual, like, content, mostly card decks and stuff like that, and I do pick a card readings and just readings in general. Also, I would like if you guys could give me some suggestions on what pick a card readings you would like for me to do, and I will put them on my to-do list. I am here to help you, so help me be able to do that for you. Um, I wish you guys love and light, and I will see you in the next one.